everybody, welcome to another episode of Let's Play. Today we're going to check out the newest game from Osprey, which is Gaslands, the game of vehicular car combat. Um, this is a use any models you want, convert matchbox cars and give them guns kind of game. Um, it's a great multiplayer game as well, or you can play two on, or sorry, one-on-one -on -one with uh, multi-car teams. So uh, I went to Walmart and spent approximately six dollars making my arm, two armies actually for this game, uh, and then later to Matt and some appropriate post apocalyptic terrain uh, to throw down some cars. The basic premise is that um, sometime in the 60s and 70s, the space race is not abandoned and we reach Mars. Mars is colonized, becomes the most prosperous part of the world, and then later on there's a war, they invade, nuke the planet, and basically become the Martian and hegemony that uh, controls everything. The most popular thing uh, on television, although the internet is now dead, is the, um, the Gaslands, which is a death race TV show where the winner each year gets a pass to Mars to go live in luxury and, and, and freedom and be rich with all the Martian overlords, basically. So um, it's a neat premise. The kind of idea of is you're gonna win your freedom. Uh, there's all kinds of different sort of factions from um, sort of like tech mongers to uh, a, a, a Brazilian um, penal system system that welds people into cars and offers them a chance at their freedom to drive these like they call them steel coffins uh, to race to freedom so really fun premise good setup um, and a lot of fun just basically converting some cars so you can see the two teams that I painted up I'll give you a basic walk through the rules and only I'm gonna play our first game which is death race so here's our slick gaslands book I love the cover art it's very 80s um uh, car wars or dark future sort of thing uh, and the big slogan in the background Mars is a lie Which is super cool. So um, basic car construction. There's a great cheat sheet that you can download I actually managed to get a physical copy of it. See, it's pretty dog-eared here um, But I'll run through all the car construction stuff So you pick a classic car you have 50 cans, which is your cost to, to build a team It's the average game size you pick any class vehicle you want. There's no restrictions on what you can take. Um, later on, you can add things like your sponsors and perks and stuff. But for basic car creation, which is what I did for my uh, my team, I picked a Jeep, um, a uh, pickup truck, and then like a big truck, uh, and then I picked a buggy. So you can see it's 15, 12, and five overall. So out of my 50 cans, I've already spent uh, 27 and five is 32. Uh, and then you have build slots. The bigger the vehicle, the more build slots and crew it has, and that lets you pick things from down here. Uh, so you can see here is my crew, my pickup truck, because it has a bunch of build slots, three. I picked a um, machine gun with a turret, which means it can shoot 360, otherwise you have to pick a facing for it, and a ram on the front, which gives me bonus dice to attack things. Uh, puts him in at 25 points overall. I named him the Yeti. He's my big, my big truck. Um, and then I've got my uh, Jackalope here, which is my um, converted up uh, buggy. It's got extra armor plating, which gives it two extra boxes. Normally it only has six boxes, it gets eight because of the armor plating. And I bought a Molotov Cocktails, which puts them at a total of 10 points. And then I bought Wendigo, my pickup truck. He's got a forward mounted MG, um, and then he has a mine layer for one point. He can drop a mine once per game, which puts him at 15. Uh, everything has an ammo cost, so like certain things can only be fired like a few times per game. Uh, so for instance, if you have like rockets or a big 125 millimeter cannon, it only has a, a limited number of shots it can fire, same with grenades. And my Molotovs, I only get to throw three Molotov cocktails each game and drop one mine. Uh, Owen's team over here, which I also built up, has a high performance car. I want to give a good example of the different kinds of cars. He's not really got any guns on him, but he does have a mine uh, and an oil slick he can drop. And he's got some perks. He has hot start, which is he spins his tires and starts in a higher gear. And expertise, which takes his handling from four to five. We'll explain handling later on when you start doing things. Uh, you can all see here in the car is your crew number, your max gear, which is the max gear you can go into. But each of these nice quick 50 can uh, teams. Um, for us to play our first game, which is Death Race. So here's our table set up for Death Race. There are four gates. Uh, the first starting gate, the second gate, the third gate, and the fourth gate. Now you notice with the um, chevrons, gates can only be entered through one side, and it's the first player to have a car through the fourth gate that wins the game. Um, we roll up right now for pole position, and that means they gain this marker. That person gets to activate a car first each round, um, and as soon as someone has a car pass through a gate, pole position gets handed back and forth. So each gear phase, it's going to matter. So rolling off, I get the six, which means I have pole position to begin with. And I deploy the first car in the starting gate. Now cars deploy as wide as you have players. So I'm going to deploy a jackalope, which is my buggy, up front. And then you Road deploy. Runner, right up next to him. Roadrunner's going next, cool. And then I'm going to do... Wendigo in behind World Runner. And Foghorn will go there. Yep. No, you know what? And they all have to be the fingers with the we'll partner. Put the buggy back here. Cool. And then we'll put down Yeti in the rear. And 
Foghorn beside him. And Foghorn just hanging out there, the two bruisers in the back. So now that we've determined our starting grid, um, we get to do one thing for you. You have a perk called Hot Start. You don't start in zero gear, you start in a D6 rum, 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 rum. gear. First in first gear. <laughs> it doesn't matter. In first gear, um, even though you had hot start. So uh, I have the pole position. I get to activate my first car. Now, when you activate a car, you pick a maneuver. There's three shape, straight maneuvers, short, medium, and long, uh, five different sort of like, or six different sort of turns. Uh, and then there's your exploding templates and your slide template. So I'm in first gear, so I can pick any of the ones that have a one of first gear. And I also get bonus dice results for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate Jackalope, and he's going to do a medium. So I place my template, and then I get to roll my handling dice. Template gets placed right in front of my car. Um, I have a handling on Jackalope of four, so I get to roll four skid dice. And I check my results. I get a free result of a shift. Shifts are used to cancel bad results and change your gear to higher gears. Now, the way the turn structure works is you work through gears one to six, and you get to move as many times as the gears you're in. So you want to upshift to keep moving, basically. So I get two shifts a spin and a slide, and that means that I can cancel with these shifts, the two bad results, which are spins and slides, um, and move, and I get my free shift so I can change gear, or I can choose to roll these again and gain a hazard counter. I'm gonna do that, because a hazard counter, I can re-roll any number of dice. Um, if I get six hazards, I might have to make a wipeout test, but I get a bunch of shift results, which means now I can change gears a bunch of times. So I can do, go up to five gears. I have a max gear of six, I'm gonna change gear up to gear four, because I don't wanna to go too fast. And I'm gonna move my car forward, and at the end I gain my hazards. Uh, and actually, sorry, I think I can, I think I gain the hazard immediately when I push it. So I think I can actually use the extra one of these that I have to, to discard this right away. So that was a good roll. Past the gate, so pole position goes to Owen, and he gets to activate a car. Roadrunner, and because he has expertise, he's gonna handle like five. Okay, so before you do that, you have to pick a, a thing oh. to do. Are you gonna go? I assume you're gonna go this one. one. Yeah, I'm, only, I'm only in first. So. <laughs> so first gear, so you get to roll five handling dice. Shift, Whoa, shift, shift, shift. five shifts because of your free one. So we'll negate this with the free one. Okay. And we're gonna shift up four times right to five. I'm gonna go right to five because remember there's certain maneuvers you can't do anymore oh, at five. I'm aware. Okay. <laughs> and we're gonna place it at the end of the template. <laughs> He's in fifth gear. When to go now in first gear, he's got a handling of three, so you can roll three dice. He's also gonna go forward uh, a medium length because that makes the sense. So we'll roll our three skid dice, get two shifts and a spin. So I'll cancel this one and get two shifts. So I'll go forward one, whoops. And then I'll shift up two gears to be in gear three. I have a max gear of five on him. He's finished. So it's back over to you. Foghorn's gonna do, oh, no, Buggy's gonna go. Chicken Hawk's gonna go. Chicken Hawk's gonna go, do Much a medium. The same thing, he's gonna do a medium. Four dice. And we're gonna come out of the gates. One, two, and cancel two. He'll just shift up once. Yep. With his go to one. second gear, and, and then he'll second. go to the end. Perfect. Goes back to me. Pole position is only really relevant for the start of each gear phase right now because we're still just going back and forth. So I'm going to go with um, Mr. Wendigo, or sorry, Mr. Yeti, sorry, because he's the last one to go. He only has a handling of two because he's a truck, so I only get to roll two dice, but he's also going to do a medium length and head forward. Let's see what we get. Gets a shift and a slide, so he'll cancel this, go up to second gear with his one free one he gets. Oop, and stop. He's handling three, going to go medium as well. Medium. Makes yep. sense. He's going to get. Three, three shifts, yep. So, so you can go up two gears. Two gears up, up to third. And fly forward. So the first gear step is done. So now we go to the second gear step. Everybody who can activate is everyone in that gear or higher. So basically everyone untaps here. If someone was locked in first gear, they wouldn't get to activate again this turn, but so far everyone's shifting up. Pole position right now, because you had the last card across a line, which means I can activate my first thing. I'm gonna activate my buggy, which is Jackalope. And Jackalope's gonna make a veer. Place a veer, which comes with a free hazard token, unfortunately, because he's in fourth gear. But he'll get him around these boxes. He'll place it like that. Now he is handling four, so he'll roll four. I'm going to try and cancel this hazard that I'm going to get for free. Uh, I get one shift and a slide, so I'm going to take a hazard immediately to push it and re-roll these three and get another two shifts. So I'm going to get another hazard because it's going to get it from the the one I get automatically. But I'll cancel this spin in the slide. We're gonna head over here. Loop's gone, it's over to you, you can pick a car. Roadrunner's up. Okay. He's gonna do a gentle turn. Doing Sounds good. much the same to get around the corner. And he's gonna get a hazard automatically, unless he can roll his five handling and get away from it. And you get only one gonna, shift, you're gonna push gonna it. push it. All right, so you get immediate hazard. Now you're looking for two shifts. Oh no! All right, so you can cancel. Yeah, you're gonna get three hazards. Two, yeah, we'll, we'll but you'll cancel those two. Two hazards. 
Well, you get oh, yeah, three this one because the extra yeah. one, and you pushed it. The six has at the end of a turn. You might wipe out, but then he moves, and he can use further shift results later on to cancel this as well. He's in third gear, so he's just going to go medium. He's going to roll his three dice and get three shifts. Four shifts. Uh, so four shifts. So they get a free shift on that one. Uh, I can up gear if I want to fourth gear, which I will. We're going to keep on moving, um, and he's just going to move up to here and be done. Chicken Hawk, channel turn. How yeah. many handling dice you want to roll? Uh, we're just going to roll two. Okay, because you get a free... He could do four, but I, I don't really want to do a lot. He's only at speed two right now, too, so he's going to get a free shift. Yep. Which means you can shift up if you want, and, uh, and get to I'm go again. Not, I am going to shift up, actually. Yeah, because you want to go at least one more time. Yeah. yeah. He's going to go. He's going to roll his two handling dice, but right now he's just going to do a straight. And go forward. Uh, two handling dice. We get a spin and a shift. I get a free one, so I'm going to shift up to third. Whoop, and move forward. He's in third gear, and what does he want to do? I'm gonna do a swerve. Moving behind. Yeah. All right. So third means he's not penalized for this, but just looking for success. Nothing happens. He gets good enough. Yeah. Because zero. He's just in third. Yeah, zero. Yeah. He moves in behind. I'm getting the Yeti. All right. So that's the end because everyone's activated. So we go into third gear step now. So anyone currently at two wouldn't get to go again, but I think everybody's three or higher right now. Yep. Uh, I'm still in pole position because you haven't passed another gate. Uh, and that means I get to pick the first car to go. I'm thinking I'm going to do Yeti. Ooh, that's going to be a... Yeah, I kind of want to do Jackalope. Well, you're going to hit me otherwise. Or you could hit me otherwise with a, with a tail grind. But I'm bigger than you. So you might not want to do that. So I'm actually going to do Jackalope. And Jackalope's going to do a Veer. Finish getting around the boxes. Finish getting around the boxes. That's right. Place that like that. Handling of five. Sorry, four rather. So we'll just roll all four dice. See, we get he's already got two hazards. Uh, and he's just gonna have to push <laughs> another one. He's gonna re-roll these because a lot of these. He gets two shifts. He's gonna gain another hazard from the maneuver and cancel these two. Hazards, he's driving dangerously, and we'll head up here. He's gonna gentle turn. Come we'll back, back in behind. Yep. So he's just zeroed out. It's just whatever I roll on the dice. But yep. I want to shift up, so I'm gonna roll three. Yeah, roll three, try to get a shift up. Yeah, yep. makes sense. And we do. Two shifts and a free shift. So we're gonna go to four. And he's going to come up like so. Actually, do you? 3 0 on here. 3 0, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It so just doesn't two. do anything. Yep. Wendigo, he's going to place his veer like so. Uh, are we going to do that or we want to place the swerve? You were making it though. All yeah, right. I think I was. Yeah, I think we still do the veer. Place the veer like that. Yep, just out. Uh, and we'll roll our handling dice, which is three. Automatic hazard this way. Uh, fine. But Zero. we're fine. We cancel it out. Yep, and we'll stay in fourth and move to here. Roadrunner, where are you gonna go? Gotta turn back around again. Another like gentle. So. Yep. It's gonna be another rough one. All the dice. All the dice. Five, five handling because of your superior maintenance. We got bam, all bam, the shifts in the bam. world. Holy moly! All right. So you so can ditch some. Uh, this is the zero it out. Yep. And then I could get rid of two, one. And shift up to six. You could just you could do it. All right. <laughs> yep. Woo. Shift and up to six. One of these. Sounds good. Yeti's gonna go then, and Yeti's gonna do a, I guess, a veer. Head over like this. We're gonna roll our two skid dice, because we only get two handling, That's and nice. get a shift and a slide. Uh, we're currently in third gear, so it's nothing, so we're yep. just gonna go. Oh, my bad. That's okay. <laughs> I was just checking that it was nothing. <laughs> yeah. Like so. At least we've got Mr. Foghorn. He's gonna just keep tailgating, <laughs> just staying in behind. Uh... He doesn't really want to though. I want to get. I want to get out and. You, pass do the, you. you can do the harder one if you want. You can go like that. Three, four, and I'm five. In third, can do it. Yep, so I'm you can do okay. It. Yeah, we'll do that. And he'll do. He'll do three. And and for some up shifts. Get. No. You can reroll. You can push it if you want. Push. We want that reroll. Give me some shifts. There it is. Three shifts. There you go. Uh, so I'm gonna negate the one. Yep. And up gear to five. Might as well. And be right there. So that's it for the third gear phase. Uh, I'm still in pole position. We go to the fourth gear phase. Yeti doesn't get to go again because he's locked in third gear. But Jackalope and Wendigo do. So Jackalope's going to go. Uh, he's got a ton of hazards right now. So he's just going to go medium <laughs> and get that free, sweet, sweet shift. And then he's going to roll all four of his dice. Let's get dice. Try and get some more shifts. Uh, we get two shifts, which means I can go straight and cancel one. And you get a one. I think it's just better, yeah. So we're going to go straight and then cancel one of the ones that's sitting on me. I think it's the last time moving this turn. Later, nerds. Later, <laughs> nerds. You're going long. All right. No no extras. So you're just going straight. Four dice. We're going to get nothing. 
That's two. It cancels out. Yeah, it's yeah. true. We're just going to yeah, take nothing. Cancel anything. And keep moving forward. Keep going straight ahead. Wendigo's going to go. Uh, Wendigo's in fourth gear right now. So he's going to place a medium. Chase the Roadrunner. Meep Meep. And he's got three skid dice. And he gets a shift and two slides. He's going to push it. Gain a hazard. And oh no, gain two more hazards. <laughs> One, because my free shifts cancel these two out. But I don't get to shift up a gear. Or, or... I could take a hazard, an extra hazard, go to two and shift up a gear, which is what I'll do. You can stay on the stay on this uh, Roadrunner. So it's back over to you. You've got All Foghorn right, chicken and Chicken Hawk. Yep. He's going to just go straight ahead. For two skid dice this time. He's got a free success. You gonna push it? Yeah, we're gonna have to push it. All right. And there it is. One shift. Well, we so got two the shifts. One we wanted, so yep. we can go gearing up. And I'm gear to five. Little, and he'll uh, take a shift. Yeah, he'll take a hazard. Yep. Move his medium. He's stepped up to max five. Max or five. Up to five. Max six, actually. Yeah, the buggies can go fast. Yeah. So it's just uh, you, because I'm yeah. done. I have uh, all my Fog guys finished. Foghorn gets to drive again. Yep. Can't do that though. So we're going. We're going long. He's going fast now. He's doing the zippy one. Yep. Moving away from the Yeti. Looking for two dice. Just looking for little things. Uh, just need to zero it out. Nope. Uh -oh. All right. Looks pushing like it. Pushing it. Nope. Oh, that's uh -oh. So he's gonna slide. So what happens when you slide is, you place the slide template, whoa, and unfortunately, it's gonna land on top of this guy. So when he does his slide, he comes through and hits him. He goes perpendicular to the template, and he power slides left and collides with him. Now you can choose to evade with both. Yes. Okay. Collisions work is you get uh, attack dice in this game, which always hit on a four plus, equal to your gear minus the enemy gear. So you're both in gear five, which means you're zero, but you're one weight class heavier. So you get plus two attack dice. Now the uh, ro or the chicken ox can try and evade, which means he'll get a save against this, but won't strike back. Hitting him one. One, and then he gets a six plus save equal to his gear. So whatever his gear is, five dice looking for sixes. Oh, that's He's looking for sixes. Trying to evade. He cancels the hit. Now, uh, what happens is, whoops, I'm going to place this back. I'm going to place corner to corner. You both gain two hazard tokens, though, because you were involved in a collision. All right, and that is it. So he is uh, facing not quite the right way now, and we shift into the fifth gear phase. I'm going to place a swerve here, and that means we get to move a little bit, um, and we get to roll our three handling dice. We currently have two hazards on us, and we're gaining an automatic hazard from that. Uh, I get nothing, so I'm going to push it and go to four, three hazards. Reroll everything. Two shifts, which means I'll cancel this one and I'll cancel the automatic one, but I'll gain the one from pushing it. Three rolls, and we end up up here. So it's all you there, fifth gear. Rut row. But if I can't place it, <laughs> then you end up colliding. <laughs> so what happens? I don't get is, to roll any dice. No, you end up turning like this and then you collide. Your dice though, you roll your dice first because you might spin out. Well, that's what it, I was. You, that's what you I might hope for, to spin right? out. That's I'm right. I'm trying yeah. to. So like, I put it up against there because he's driving into the wall basically. And, and then hope go, for a hope for a skid. We're gonna go all three result. of his handling and try and fail. Mm, you want the slides? You want to reroll your shifts? I guess. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Yes, nope, sweet it's, spin. All, it's all spins. <laughs> Looking for a spin and a slide, because if he'd gotten that, he could have placed the slide template here, moved over, and then spin up to 90 degrees, but he collided first without the uh, the slide results. He's going to have a collision. And another hazard. It counts as being speed zero. Uh, so you take your speed, which is five, <laughs> and it automatically declares an attack against you. With middleweight, so it gets five dice against you, and you're going to try and evade. Looking for sixes. <laughs> It gets you're, one. You're looking for four. Four, sorry, that's right. And you're looking for sixes on five dice. Try and evade. I didn't nope. dodge it. Take it. Take a damage. Bam. So he didn't take any damage for you, so he took one damage box from it. He has hit six hazard tokens, which means he's going to have to make a flip out test. Seven. Seven, sorry. <laughs> um, but for the next movement step, he's assumed to crash through it. So it's not destroyed, but he'll ignore it for the next movement step. He'll just basically move through. You can imagine that, like, he blows through the side of the shipping container and comes out the doors. When buggy's going, get him, get him, Mr. Uh, Chicken Hawk. He's got to do some gentle turns. Move it up. It's going to be one hazard potentially, but he's going to roll yeah, four. Dice gets two shifts. Uh, we zero it out. That's but you gain one from the maneuver. Good We're trying to reroll right, these going to push it. And pushing it gives him three. And then. Which means you get you net out basically from the push it one. Because I'd be one, two, and three. Yeah. And the spin is at the end. I can turn ninety degrees, right? Uh, you can. Yes, at the end of your at the end of your thing, at the end of your move. We're going to cancel the two. Okay. Keep the spin. And gear up again. Okay, sounds good. Going to six. That means he can pivot up to 90 degrees at the end of his final position. And not touch anybody. Perfect. He'll end up with one more hazard from the uncancelled spin result, because you always yeah. get a hazard from doing it. 
And then you've got uh, the Roadrunner. Where's the Roadrunner gonna go? It's coming around the corner, flipping over the, getting over the line. Boom, which means, uh, Oh wait, you, he can't turn. <laughs> yeah, he's in six, he has to go straight, I'm pretty sure. I don't wanna shift down after this, cause you're uh -oh. going straight right now. Uh oh. You need to shift down big too, There's to get no this odds. turn. Cause you gotta get around to that, and come around the other side. turn around this. That's right. Nice, do it. Big shifts. Mm, you gonna push it? Yeah. He's, right. he's doing Gains pretty one. good. So. Yep. And he gets four shifts and a slide, which, which means he could actually hard corner and be facing the other way at the end of it. That's what we're gonna gain hazards. So you're gonna gain two hazards. You can change gear if you want. So I'm going to. So I'm. I'm or you can just cancel all your hazards that you have on you. And yeah. Just stay in that gear, but then you have to go straight again. Shift down to five and lose all his hazards at the end of this and be placed. Sliding, like so. drifting around. Just the drifting. We're doing it. Martian drift. <laughs> position goes to me because you've crossed and it's over to the sixth gear phase. I have no one to activate, but you got two guys in sixth. <laughs> Who's going? All right, Roadrunner. Uh, no, he's in fifth. I he's in fifth. Now. Oh, that's right. So that's he's right. not going to go again. So it's just your buggy. Yeah, it's just, just your the buggy. buggy again. There's only one thing you can do. He's going to climb with an obstacle. No, he's good. Oh, no. It has to be centered on him. Is it centered yeah, on Yeah, it's gotta be centered on him, so I think you're gonna touch it. Collide with the obstacle, so you head on it. So you take, you take it, so you're gonna try and evade, I assume. Hey, roll your thing, that's true, yeah, 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 do it. Uh, four dice. Let's see what happens. Woo! <laughs> We're gonna try and get a, it doesn't matter, because it's I'm not gonna, gonna hit matter. it. Yep. So we'll still do the re-rolls. Okay, I'm trying to get more shift results. And it didn't help at all. Uh-oh, <laughs> collide with it, because you're, you're obstructed, so you stop here. You're gonna take a six attack. Against you, so six dice. I uh, might die looking for fours, you might just die. Uh, and there's just one more here. Three. You have to evade on sixes. Uh huh. I still get six. You get dice, all though. six dice. That's right. Yep. So one of those is a crit. So against. So it'll be double damage so against the crit. Or does it just roll them all? No, no. It's, you, know, you have to roll them. Yep. So against the. Then no, you don't get any. So you take four damage. Uh yep. And that I think wrecks you. I've got six. Nope, you get six. Okay. Nice. You're gonna gain and two. Uh, no, you're obstructed, so you stop there. You don't get to do any. Remember, right, where you don't get to right, use any of those right, results yeah. when you get obstructed. Both well, these guys gonna make wipeout tests at the end of the turn. Here are the attack stuff. In which case, the guy with pole position first gets to choose to try and shoot some guns. Um, so we're gonna start off with uh, Mr. Wendigo. He can place because uh, it's a double long template. So it's basically 12 inches. You do the long plus the medium. And you place it anywhere so it's touching the front of your car. So you can you can slide your arc of fire back and forth. So he's in range. And we get to make a two dice attack against you. I have two crew uh, in my Jeep, which means one's gonna fire his uh, MG into there, and then the other one's gonna fire a handgun into your little guy. So the, the machine gun, well, he always evades. The machine gun into the Roadrunner gets a critical success. So Roadrunner can try and evade. He's got five he's dice. He's got five dice to do it, that's right, because his current gear. Gets it. Gets it, so he evades it. I get a one dice attack into uh, Chicken Hawk, because I'm just shooting a handgun at the window. Nope, so, misses. Both these guys uh, can't shoot, unfortunately, right now, because they're distracted. They're touching obstacles. Um, and Roadrunner and the only Roadrunner, has oil slick in mind. And they're, well, no, he can shoot his, uh, oh, it's only medium, though. He can shoot his handgun at the window. But it's only at a medium range, which is seven inches, so you're not gonna be range or anything. Try and uh, shoot with my buggy then, so uh, I'm gonna see if I'm in range. Five, I am. Uh, which means we can fire 360 with our handguns, or we can throw a Molotov. We're just gonna fire handguns, so it's one dice, misses, and then one dice with a crit. See if you can cancel it, whatever your speed is. Six. Six. Looking for sixes. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's the critical is actually just two hits. It's right. not like a critical could be canceled separately. So what does is you've canceled three hits total here, which means it's just gone. Yeti's going to fire. Yeti's got a uh, MG, so he's going to shoot twice, and then two more guys with handguns. So the MG shooting into Foghorn hits once. You can try and cancel it. Five dice. Looking for sixes. You bet. You do. And then I can try and shoot again with my handgun. I don't, and again, I do, it's a crit, so you have to get two to cancel it. I got one. Cancel I one, so you damage. take a damage. So now you have to make flip tests for anyone with six or more hazard tokens. You automatically make um, a single D6, and if you roll equal to or higher than your current speed, you're okay. Otherwise, you move a medium forward, ignoring all obstructions um, that you're currently in contact with, and take two damage. So you gotta roll a six for your buggy, otherwise he's gonna explode. <laughs> Nope. nope, so he moves forward medium, because actually Maddox becomes a wreck. He ignores the thing he's currently in contact with. Takes two damage, which wrecks him, because he's already at four. Uh, and becomes a wreck, so we flip him on his side. He's wrecked, he moves another short move forward. 
the other side, and then what has to happen is he has to make an explosion check. He has three ammo on him because he's still carrying his Molotovs. He rolls one die and adds the number of ammo. If it's a six or more, it's one die. All right. And if it's if it's six or more, he explodes. No, no. he's fine. The Molotovs just burn. He just becomes a wreck and an obstruction. Foghorn, what are you doing? Five or less. <laughs> Five or less. No. Nope. So he's gonna go medium as well. He, he's literally just crashing through this barrier right now. Takes two damage immediately. It's the first gear after the flip. Um, he removes all his hazard tokens, and I get to rotate it to face any direction. So we're just gonna be facing this way. We go back to gear step one after all his white puts are resolved. So I currently, or you, that's right, you just passed the, so I have pole position. Yep. You just passed the gate. Um, and that means that I get to pick the first car to go. Uh, and I'm pretty happy to go with, well, we're at fifth gear with Wendigo. You're gonna get away from me though. It's so I think runner against the world right I think, now. <laughs> I think so. I think we're gonna do a gentle turn with Wendigo. He's in fifth, so it's automatic hazard, and he'll roll his three handling dice and get three shifts. So he'll ignore the automatic hazard. Um, he's gonna stay in gear. No, he's gonna drop a gear down to fourth. And lose a hazard. And lose a hazard, yep. Now you gain pole position because I just passed a gate. You're gonna swerve. All right, so now you, when you're reversing, you can only do gear, it's not a gear one maneuver. Oh, you can't not. do a swerve. Sorry. Hairpin turn at gear one. Please there we go. The wall. Please don't hit the wall. <laughs> I think you will. Not <laughs> if I roll out swerves. That's right, roll out swerves. See what you got. You want, to, you, want, yeah, you, want to, you want to slide. I want to slide. You want to slide. You want to slide and spin. You going to push it? Might as well. I want to push it with all <laughs> of them. Push with all of them? Go for yeah. it. Yeah. There you go. Slide and spin. <laughs> um, so you're going to take, you only ever resolve one slide result, but he gets his spin around basically here. So and then you can, you, can do, you can do a single spin, which means you can turn 90 at the end of it all. And you're gonna gain three hazards. Four we're hazards because you pushed it. We're only in first gear, which means that's always doing this turn. Yeah. Facing the right way though, it's and that's worth it. that's better than you were before a second ago. MG's loaded. <laughs> <laughs> Yeti's gonna go. Um, he's just gonna do a medium and head forward. And he's gonna roll his three minute or three dice and get three shifts. He'll go up to max gear, which is four. Uh, he doesn't have any hazards on him, so he's just gonna stay where he is. Do a gentle turn. Yep. He's in fifth gear, so he can. Like so. No, and no bonuses off this because it's only in first and second when he does it. Negative though, so we're gonna roll four dice. Yep, and we're gonna get two shifts and a slide. That's you okay. Gain a hazard. Yep, and start heading towards the next gate. Jacklip's gonna go. Jacklip's just gonna do a gentle turn. Uh, no, just a medium actually. You're straight still because gentle take me around the corner a second and head to here. Handling. Uh, I'm gonna gain two shifts, and the general gets me nothing because he's at four. So I'm gonna push it and reroll these, and get a spin and a slide. Uh, and I guess we'll just cancel and gain a hazard. So two hazards. I'm gonna push it actually, and we'll just sit there. Two. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna gain an additional hazard before I do that, and use my spin just to turn a little bit. So we're facing like that. Position. Yep. So you get to go. Where's that long? <laughs> vroom <Why>? vroom. <laughs> See you later. And we're gonna five dice it. All right, going hard. I want. Uh, you want to try to get rid of some of these results? Down. Yeah, yeah, gear down. Uh, uh, two not shifts, great. but you can push it if you want. Keep a spin. I'm just gonna roll them all. Okay, just gonna roll them all. Two spins on a slide, so you can cancel two and take a spin at the end, and you'll gain two hazards. Gear down. Three gear down and spin twice. I mean, you only ever spin once. Yeah, but but you gain an extra hazard. It means I get an extra hazard, and you get to gear down, so you can turn up to ninety. And then he's gonna turn like so. Just to thread the needle. So Fish tailing around at four, yeah. You can do, yep. you can do some corners now, exactly. Uh, so we're gonna go, and we're in second gear phase, which means I get to pick somebody to go. Uh, I'm gonna pick Mr. Wendigo. Now we're gonna do Mr. Jagalo. It's a turn, like so. And then roll our maneuver dice. And we've got four, because we're a buggy, handling dice. And we'll get two shifts, a slide, and a spin. We have an automatic hazard. Do I want to push it? I'm at five right now. So if I push it, I'm going to wipe out. Potentially. I can slide and spin though, or I could cancel the slide, which is what I'll probably do. Keep the spin and maybe wipe out. Oh, it's all bad. I think I have to push it. I have to try and push it and see if we can get some more, some more shifts. Double slide, rut row. So you're getting two more hazards. Two more hazards. Well, I mean, I don't make a wipe out test. Or I can take. You can cancel all the slides and just take two. Oh, I'm just gonna downshift twice. Shifting down to second gear, which will hopefully make my flip test easier. Oh, I'm gonna shift down to third gear. 
cancel one of the slides, shift, and then take two houses Three. from the push-it. Three. One from the slide, one from the push-it. We're doing a four turn, that's right, and I'll end up over here. Boop. So right, like this, right. that's right. It's a turn, and try and spin out of this if we can, because uh, we want to roll a spin result. Otherwise, we're going to impact that wreck. And we have two hand, sorry, three handling, sorry, because we're a truck or a Jeep. And we get the spin we want, a shift and a slide. Uh, so we're at four, which means we're going to gain a hazard. We're going to cancel the slide, and we're going to do a spin at the end of this. So we're going to end up here, and then we're going to spin. Well, I've passed the thing already, so I'm going to do 90 like this. There you go. Four with three, uh, and then it's just Yeti. Yeti's still in fourth gear. Yeti's going to go just medium, I think again and he'll roll his two handling or his two two shift dice He's fine. and he can shift or he can lose some results he doesn't have any to lose so he's just gonna go straight and we're done third gear step uh it's gonna be just you're still in pole position i don't know which one it is i think it's gentle i think we do a gentle turn do a gentle turn or, or just go long again and hope I for spin i can't do a short i can't do long either i could do a medium I, th I think a gentle gets me around this corner. Do it. Medium straight. And hoping for a spin result. And you get five handling dice. Yep. Go all for the it. dice. All the dice. Need go for some, your, go for your skid dice. Skid dice. Always oh, got all the spins. And he's got what he wants. You get a spin and a hazard. So you can cancel your hazard. And then... We'll You've got all... You can drop all your hazard tokens too and do a spin. We'll drop two of the tokens. Then end up gaining one because of the spin. Yep. And then basically I'm going to come out the far side and get my 90. There you go. You want to shift down or you stay at 4? I want to stay at 4 because I want to go again. Got it. Philip's going to go. He's going to roll all his handling dice. He's currently at 3, so he's just going to go medium. He might flip out. But let's see if we can we can lose some of these. Uh, we get two shifts, a spin and a slide, and we get an automatic one. So I'm just going to lose a hazard and go to the end. He's done, so it's still me. We've got Yeti and we've got Wendigo. Wendigo is currently at speed four, which means he's gonna do a turn and go like so. He's coming back around. He's coming back around. Shift or three, three spin dice. We get slide, slide, shift. Mm -hmm. Slide wouldn't be bad. Slide wouldn't be terrible right now. I gain a hazard though, or I could push it and hope for a spin. Because the slide will have you facing this way. Yeah, that's true. I think we take the slide. We cancel one. And then take the... A you, hazard. Take two hazards. I'll take two hazards from the slide. Yeah. be okay. And I'll be facing this way. Like so. Bloop. Donuts right now. <laughs> uh, and I'll take a hazard. Five hazards on Wendigo. And... and yeti. Just the Yeti. Do a veer on Mr. Yeti. Place it like that. Um, he's doing a veer at speed four. He's got his two handling or his two skid dice. Shift spin. Oh, wow. I think we take the spin. So yeah. we're gonna shift. Cancel the negative. Yeah, cancel the, the negative and get the spin. Yeah. And we get to turn up to 90. So we're gonna go like that. <sighs> one hazard on Yeti because of the spin. And we are done gear three. I've got two cars in gear four. You got one in gear four. Your eye just passed, so you're still pole position. Turn. Kind of whip around. We're hoping like for a for spin. That. Yep. Uh, I don't need the spin actually. I just need to get around the corner and gear down. Got it. And you got two shifts. Got everything three I want shifts. Really. Yeah, you did. And you could spin two if you want. I could spin. I think. Okay. So we've got one for the, the innate one that comes up. You got it. One for the slide. <clears throat> and then we could gear up to fifth and take the spin. Doing it. Pop around the corner. Taking the spin. Gearing up to fifth, and then uh, getting one more for the spin. You got it. He's gonna do. Yet yeah, he's gonna do it gentle, and up there. Uh, he's got his two skid dice. Gets a hazard and a spin. Uh, I think one. I'm gonna. Oh no, you're at four. You get four. I get nothing. Um, so I'm just gonna take the hazard, and the hazard from the spin, and just put myself lined up with him, and just and pivot him so he's in straight line. There you go. There you go. When he goes, gonna do a veer, and go to there. He's in fourth, so one hazard automatically. Yep. And a dice roll. <clears throat> and my dice roll. Uh, so my dice roll. Sorry, I should actually leave that because I might need something else at the end of this. Yeah. He's got three skid dice. <laughs> slide, slide, hazard. Uh, he's not looking so good. So we have to reroll that. We're going to push it and go to six. 
We need some results. Hazard, oh no! Spin. Uh, so we go to a bajillion hazards. Uh, we go to five more, which means we are currently at ten hazard. But I do get to a spin, which means I just put myself facing like this. There you go. We got fifth gear, so you get to go again. Let's get out of here. <laughs> going, 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 going. Five dice. Getting, getting out. Getting speedy. Uh, two shifts, two hazards, and a slide, which would cause another hazard. Pushing You're rolling, it. pushing it. Taking the one for the push it. And get a shift, a slide, and a hazard. Darn. This is what I've got. I can cancel these two, and this one I can shift up to six. Because you want to go again. Six gear phase, you get to go again. The only thing I can do is another long forward. <laughs> go for it. We're going fast. Well, you got to spin if you want it. I do. And two shifts to cancel the slides, or you could you could slide and just be perpendicular, which is kind of what you want. The spin? Yep. Okay, and cancel the two. Five. Yep. And then I'll rotate ninety. And you're still in six gear. And I'm still in six gear. Five hazards, not quite six. The last gate. And I'm in pole position currently. Uh, I don't get to do very much though, because everybody's kind of out of range. I can shoot handguns potentially at him if he's in range, which I don't think he is, because they only shoot medium. No, but my machine gun can shoot because it's got a turret. Machine gun into Mr. Foghorn. I get two dice. So I get three hits total because of the crit, and you get to be of speed. One. To try and cancel. Nope. You don't. Take Thanks three damage. Not dead yet. Not Close, dead yet. Though. Turret MG. Who so you got 12 inch health? range. Uh, no one's taking any damage yet. Does. Oh, the buggy's Call does. Oh, the yeah. buggy. Oh, you mean my truck? He just, no, no, he has the least health. Oh, the least health, health total. Yes, he yeah. does. Uh, how many does so the shoot turret MG get? It gets two. There's two on a turret MG, eh? Yep. So you one. I think you're going to have a hard time stopping him. You're first. Uh, I am forced oh, to currently in pole position. Oh, I got to make some flip tests. Right, <laughs> some whiteboard tests. Let's see what happens. Jackalope uh, has to roll three or higher. Jackalope's okay. He keeps his six tokens. Uh, and then Wendigo on a four better. Nope, Wendigo wipes out. So he moves a medium. Yep. He's a medium. He's going to take two damage. You're going to face him wherever you want, which is over Why there. Not? Yep. <laughs> Shifts down to one. He loses all his hazard tokens, but he's now facing kind of the wrong way. Uh, so I think we're going to start with Mr. Jackalope, because he's my best bet. He's my best bet to try and chase you down, although I got crazy amounts of, of hazard right now. So we're going to put medium down for him, because he can. Yep. And then he's going to roll his four handling dice, and gain slide, slide, hazard, and he's going to push it <laughs> and go to seven hazards, and not Shift, do much spin, better. Spin, oh, jeez. I mean, spins aren't bad, but the hazards are a problem. <laughs> yeah, the slide's bad. So we're going to cancel it again. Take two spin. And take two spin, which means just one spin. So we'll go to the end and spin to face. So we're throwing the needle there. Yep. I was just three because I pushed it. We're in third gear still. Only one thing I can do. <laughs> go fast. Five handling dice. Uh, I don't know where the fifth one went. It's oh, it's five five behind hands. my hand. Yeah, there you go. Got to slow down. Oh yeah, man, that's what like, I need. Cancel that. <laughs> Super driving. I'm drop uh, one of my hazards I already have yep. and go down two gears to fourth. He's going to do a hairpin because he might as well. Turn to here. Um, he'll roll his uh, three handling dice and re roll it and push it again. <laughs> Come on, buddy. You're the worst driver ever. Oh my gosh, he's so bad. So you're still spinning. Um, so taking a spin, which means an additional hazard. So I'm at two hazards. That's not the worst thing in the world. We'll just turn to that. Yeah, you're like this. Pretty good. Gear up, unfortunately, because I didn't want to do the slide. Uh, so he's stuck Yeti. in first gear. And then it's the Yeti gets to go. Yeti's currently in fourth. So Yeti's going to do a, just a medium and go straight. He's good, though. He's, he's going to get through there. So two skid dice. I get a slide and a shift. We'll just cancel them out. And then I, I will. I have a net one. I have a net one, yeah. So I'm just going to remove a hazard. In gear. And uh, you're, I'm still in pole position, actually. Yep. So we'll go with Yeti. He's just going to do another medium. And hope for a spin result. Yeti's the truck, right? Yep. You're going to hit this barrier right now. Well, then we'll... <laughs> hit the barrier. Hit the barrier, I guess, yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, and we'll push it. <laughs> you get a spin and a slide. So we're going to use the spin. <laughs> Ram it. I have a reinforced ram, so I'm not really going to super care about this, I don't think. But you did just um, get four. So I'm going to head on it. It's speed zero. I'm speed um, four, so I get plus, so it's just four dice. So you can roll four to attack me on fours. I'm just going to attack it back. Take five. <laughs> sure. I get six attack dice because my ram gives you plus two. Uh, and. Five. Plus one 
five. I just destroy it. <laughs> Four hazards now, and I just wipe that thing out, and then over to me. We get to go. We out with you, Roadrunner. Just go, go uh, straight. I, no, he, he doesn't make it yet. We got to do a turn. This is okay. why we. This is why we came down to fourth. Uh oh, that was too much. <laughs> Oh well. Hope for spin. <laughs> no, we just we just slow down. Right. Just change speed. Maybe fine. Mm, shifts and spins. Just cancel the two slides if you want. You get a hazard, but then it doesn't matter. We just got to make it to the end. We're gonna get two hazards and go to and six. And then spin. We just gotta yeah. yeah. And then, and then, then to face. rotate, face the door. I nope, can go with Mister. I can go with Mister. Wendigo. Uh, and he's going to sorry, Mister Jackalope, and he's just gonna do a turn. Whoop, which is be like that, which is not quite what we want. So we're gonna have to try and roll ourselves a spin. We got all the shifts in the roll. world though, uh, but we need to reroll a couple of these. He's got a million hazards. Now nah, we'll just take it. We'll just take it. Whoop, and then remove four of our ten hazards. We go into third gear. It. I go first, so I'll just for the sake of things, do a turn on Mr. Yeti. I entirely forgot to activate Foghorn. He's just parked. No, he's at one. There's no, oh, no, yeah, it's yeah, you for Animal Monster, didn't you? <laughs> so I come through. Yep, you drive uh, around. Get I roll two dice. Tank. Hey, I'm good. You you cancel it. it out. And then I and put then a four down. And then you just put a four down and go straight. Oh, just in case it's hilarious, just roll one. No, I roll okay. as many as I can. <laughs> I get rid of these two. Yep. I get one from yeah, the four, for free. And four, and it puts me back to four. And that's it. Roadrunner cannot be caught and wins the game. All right, so there was your first look at Gaslands. Now we have only kind of scratched the surface of what's possible. There's also a campaign mode where you can gain additional cans to your team, basically meaning that you have more cars to pick from when you deploy and you know your scenario and stuff. There's a ton of different scenarios. My favorite one is the one where you don't deploy your team, you deploy a single monster truck and it's called Cat and Mouse. <laughs> and so in Cat and Mouse, one guy's the cat, he's got the monster truck, everyone else has the mice and you're just trying to survive as long as you can against the monster truck or take it down. Um, and yeah, and so, so there's tons of options for like bikes, motorcycles, telling them there's helicopters in the game too. Depending on who your sponsor is, it kind of gives you access to like military grade equipment. So for instance, my, um, my team uh, of all like the sort of like quasi military vehicles, I've picked, I've, in the back of my mind, I've picked them as my sponsor basically. So in the future, I'll be able to take helicopters and things, tanks. Um, they can't necessarily win the game, but they give you different options of what you can do. Um, and there's things, there's another sponsor that gives you like high tech weapon, like, like Arc Tesla things and all kinds of crazy stuff. Owen's already decided he wants to do the war rig, which it's means war rig and bikes. <laughs> yeah. and We're gonna straight up war. Fury Road. We're yeah. gonna go straight up Fury Road. Um, and what's great about this game is it would support that. So whether you want to do the actual setting of Gaslands, where you're doing kind of like a game show thing, kind of Death Race style, or if you want to go straight to Fury Road and do like your I got your my whole thing, board. we're gonna pull that out. We'll play That's in exactly the it. <laughs> Playing the canyons, you have like a crazy like bird people on their motorcycles versus Furious on the war rig. Um, my buddy Dave Taylor, actually, if you want to check out his website. He's, he does tons of conversions for car stuff. Being Australian and basically having grown up on like being from the country of vehicular mayhem, um, <laughs> he's he's always done like uh, vehicle combat games. So if you wanna get some inspiration, go check out his website because he's got tons of cool conversions and stuff on there too. Um, there's also a couple Facebook groups just dedicated to like post about the car stuff. And of course there's a Gaslands Facebook group too, which I'll link in the video description below. So um, great title. Uh, again, I said I spent $6. They were, these were a dollar each at Walmart, these cars, and then dive into my 40K bits box for some stuff to make uh, appropriate conversions. There was out one of. slight rule that we never mentioned. Which what? It's, if you touch the measuring gauge, that's the one you use. You have to use. We didn't that's say right. it on camera, yeah. but it, it happened right after <laughs> the first like two or three turns where it was. If you pick that up, that's what you're you use stuck it. with it. That's and there I was sat a, there for a little yeah. while running my finger on you, the table you, because I was trying. You definitely, you definitely want to have your own set of templates. So you can kind of have them in front of you like doctor's instruments and always put them back exactly <laughs> no, where they, they are. Should be in a bag. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <laughs> well, they were a mess definitely for this. Um, if you're looking for the acrylic templates, the, the templates are in the book in the back to photocopy. Make your own. Um, the gas ones website as a bundle with the rule book and the templates and stuff and Mike Hutchinson the author um, has like all that stuff available from his own website ones. yeah you probably want the acrylic ones for sure so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that big fun big fun game uh, even I think Owen's first comment was I'd love to play this with everybody having one car and then like six players yeah. I think the game will really one shine as a multiplayer a game people on a really do, tight board do like a 20 can cap and then everybody's got like a single car a um, gun on it and yeah. then you're you're driving in really tight quarters that's what I would want it, it was really neat I liked that everything felt like, like Mario Kart Everything felt like what I designed it to be. Like, 
Yeti just blew through the obstructions with his reinforced ram, was just like, whatever, let's do this, but was kind of like ponderous and slow. Um, the buggies felt like buggies. They flew around and did all kinds of crazy stuff. And your performance car just shot away and took a few shots and then was just off the races and, and got ahead and stuff. So really great game. I'm super excited to play more of it. My buddy Jay is actually working on some cars too. Um, I should know a ton of people that as soon as I talked about this were like super jazzed about it. So you'll probably see more of it on the channel real soon. Uh, so yeah, we'll see you for the next Let's Play in the future. Till then, I'm Ash Zoen. We're gaming. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below to get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Ray Designs. Um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.